decades of all time, uh, rank going from worst to best. Uh, if you are new here, I greatly appreciate you being here. Um, and if uh, you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate you as well. And uh, it would be greatly appreciated if uh, you gave this uh, video a like, a comment, a share even. And uh, if uh, you are new here, please subscribe. It would be really appreciated. Let's get into my top 10 favorite decades of all time. Up first is the 1970s. Um, there's a lot of great movies here in this decade, but it just doesn't do anything for me when you get past those great iconic films. The rest of them, it just gets to be a bit repetitive and some uh, movies feel like they're made for TV and whatever and it just doesn't feel right with the coloration and the acting and whatever for me. It just doesn't do much for me but the 1970s at number 10, my least favorite decade out of my top 10. At number 9 we have the 1940s. Um, you got Citizen Kane, you got uh, The Third Man, you got uh, the 1940s Little Women, you got uh, a bunch of uh, fantastic movies but not enough to kind of like the 1970s where you just have the 40s, they're good, they're fantastic but not enough to where you get past my top eight. At number eight we have the 1980s with uh, you got The Shining, you got The Breakfast Club, you have the Back to the Future movies absolutely fantastic movies but when you get to my next seven you'll see why these are my bottom three my top ten decades of all time at number seven we have the 1930s um you have films such as m gone with the wind charlie chaplin's modern times city lights you have It Happened at One Night, King Kong Stagecoach, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, Young Mr. Lincoln, The Invisible Man. All fantastic films uh, that uh, you don't see in the 80s, 70s, and 30s. F absolutely fantastic. The 1930s at number 7. At number 6, we have the 1990s. Um, you have such films as Fight Club, Silence of the Lambs, Seven, Forrest Gump, Matrix, Goodfellas, Reservoir Dogs, Jurassic Park, Goodwill Hunting, and uh, Toy Story. Um, absolutely fantastic movies. You get so much great quality uh, in the 90s. Um, you get the first animated uh, CGI complete animated movie um, ever. And uh, you get a lot of great uh, Tom Hanks films. You got a lot of David Fincher. You get the iconic The Matrix, all that kind of stuff. Absolutely fantastic. At number five, we have the 1920s. Um, you get so much innovation here. It's uh, iconic with uh, the films such as Buster Keaton's The General. You got Charlie Chaplin's The Kid. You got Abel Gantz's Napoleon, an epic six hour uh, epic film. You got Wings, the first ever Best Picture winner. You have Hair Lloyd's The Freshman. You have The Passion of Joan of Arc. You have Safety Last. You have The Gold Rush, The Circus. And you have the first sound film ever called The Jazz Singer. This is why it's my number five of the 1920s. At number four, you have the 2000s. You have The Dark Knight. You have Inglorious Bastards. You have The Prestige, Finding Nemo, Ratatouille. You have the beginning of the Marvel Cinematic Universe with Iron Man. You have the Lord of the Rings films, such iconic uh, masterpieces. You have Avatar. You have Up. You have There Will Be Blood. All fantastic, high-quality films that uh, the previous decades uh, don't have that are just amazing. Absolutely incredible. You just can't go wrong with the Lord of the Rings, the prestige with uh, Christopher Nolan, absolutely fantastic innovation with Avatar. Fantastic movies all around. And up next are my top three decades of all time. At number three, you have the 2010s. Probably one of the most iconic, fantastic, 
best quality decade of them all. Uh, you got La La Land. You have Baby Driver, one of the best edited films of all time. You have Her, a, an innovative romantic film. You have Arrival, a great sci-fi. You have Avengers Endgame, one of the greatest superhero movies of all time. You have Little Women. Uh, you have 1917, a one-shot, one-take film that is made to look like that. You have a marriage story. You have the great thriller Gone Girl. You have Mad Max Whiplash. You have Blade Runner 2049, a great sequel to the original Blade Runner. You have Inside Out, probably in my opinion, uh, the greatest animated film of all time. Such a great decade. At number two is the 1960s. With You have 2001 A Space Odyssey, an iconic film in space. You have the iconic Alfred Hitchcock Psycho uh, and the uh, iconic bath uh, room scene. You have The Good and the Bad of the Ugly um, with Clint Eastwood. You have The Lawrence of Arabia, a fantastic epic. You have Breakfast and you have a Breakfast at Tiffany's, an endearing Audrey Hepburn film. You have The Apartment, a great comedy. You have Once Upon a Time in the West, a fantastic western. You have Spartacus, a grand Roman Empire uh, epic. You have My Fair Lady, a fantastic musical. You have Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, a fantastic interracial couple film that was very controversial at the time and would push the boundaries. No other decade has seen films like this other than my number one film decade of all time and so at number one my number one decade of all time is the 1950s my favorite you have films like 12 angry men you have rear window a great thriller seven samurai a fantastic foreign film that is the original magnificence Seven. You have a fantastic comedy pushing controversy and the edge of cinema with Some Like It Hot. You have Dial M for Murder. You have Ben Hur, a fantastic biblical epic. You have a White Christmas. You have The Ten Commandments, another fantastic epic, biblical epic. You have Funny Face, a fantastic endearing musical. You have North by Northwest. You have Singing in the Rain a fantastic musical so many other great films you could never see in other decades that they don't have and that was my top 10 favorite decades of all time I greatly appreciate you guys if you are new here please subscribe I would greatly appreciate it if you are a returning subscriber I greatly appreciate you if uh, it would be greatly appreciated if you gave this video a like, a subscribe, a fantastic comment, uh, or a uh, share to your friends. It would be greatly appreciated. Stay random, guys.